A group of youth organizations had a roundtable at the Office of the Safety and Defense Public Association to discuss the casualty rate of soldiers in the army. The deputy head of the Azerbaijan Popular Front Party Youth Organization, Ilham Hussein, said that losses in the army are causing anxiety in society. He said that since the May 1994 ceasefire, Azerbaijan lost more than 3,000 military servicemen. The president of the Safety and Defense Public Association, Yashar Jafari, said that 90 soldiers have died and 95 soldiers have been injured so far this year. He said that Safar Abiyev, who has been the defense minister for 19 years, and Najmat Sadegov, who has served at the headquarters chief for 17 years, must take responsibility for losses in the army. Jafarli said that they must not remain indifferent to soldier death and must take measures to improve the situation. During the roundtable, it was also noted that although there are nearly 50 military institutions in the country, only four or five of them have criticized the high death army casualty rate, while the rest seem to be indifferent. The roundtable noted that statistics on soldier death and injuries have been kept since 2003. During the last nine years, an estimated nearly 1,000 soldiers have lost their lives in the army. Parents of those soldiers have claimed that the army shows a negative attitude toward the killed soldiers and that the incidents are not investigated properly. Military service is considered to be training in manhood, but in our country, soldiers are being turned into traitors. There are so many things to say about this. After six months, the army claimed that the soldiers killed one another. There are a lot of problems in the army. The youth said that in order to solve problems in the army, public control over the army must be improved.